Greetings from beautiful Dresden in Germany and welcome to our video presentation of Project Asterope, Star Dresden's current rover project for participation in the European Rover Challenge 2024. The rover is brought to life by a young team from 2 Dresden with students and young professionals from a variety of STEM fields who are responsible for constructing mechanical components, ensuring flawless electrical circuits and bug-free software for the rover's optimal performance. But it doesn't stop there. We are managing all aspects of this venture ourselves, including team management, securing sponsorship, organizing everything and documenting the process. The ERC gives us the opportunity to do just that, to develop a complex robotic system in an exceptional test environment under the most realistic conditions. As the ERC is an annual event, it is a project that evolves over time as we improve on previous rovers, with regular milestones in the form of annual challenges. This allows new members to quickly become part of the development process and experience the full cycle of a project. The consistent baseline of tasks allows development to focus on different aspects, such as new mechanical features or robust automation, while retaining proven systems. This results in a team of experienced and newer members, allowing knowledge to be transferred and fresh ideas to be brought into the project each year. The current composition of the team also influences the focus of the rover's design, regardless of its functionality. The realistic Mars Yard provides a challenging environment to develop engineering and project management skills. It gives students the opportunity to gain real-world project experience during their studies. The chance to work on such a project is invaluable to their educational development. It is also an excellent opportunity to network and promote the next generation of space engineers. To facilitate the effort of building our Mars vehicle, we have once again used our proven matrix organization for rover subsystems and additional teams. The Astero project is led by Lucas, Gregor and Julius, with Philip taking on the role of systems engineer. Our three main mechanical subsystems BEMA, ARM and MainBody are led by Niels, Daniel and Theo and Rico respectively, and Konstantin being in charge of the overall mechanics team. In addition, the deep sampler is handled by Johannes and the drone by Aaron. All the electronics are handled by Karl and Julius does the same for the software with last leading navigation and vision in particular. Sponsorship is handled by our second Julius, and finally, Jakob is responsible for the science task. But be assured, none of the things we do within the project would be possible without the rest of our team. Astrorope follows its sister robots Electra, Merope and Tageta, which competed in ERC 2021, 22 and 23 respectively. It incorporates the best of previous designs and provides innovative and unique solutions to new challenges. While the mechanical, electrical and software design of the rover is complete, the team has recently run into budgetary issues. As a result, we have had to make the difficult decision to scale back our ambitions for the new rover. Nonetheless, the Dresden will still be able to participate in ERC 2024 competitively. As we have long taken a modular approach to the subsystems of our rovers ever since ERC 2022, we have the unique opportunity to use working and existing hardware from previous rovers. We have therefore decided that the best way forward is to adapt two-year-old Merope to this year's requirements and challenges. This is the great advantage that the software team in particular will be able to run newly developed algorithms much earlier than expected and test the solutions thoroughly. The current hardware will also be upgraded wherever possible with that developed during the design process of Astrorope. The BEMA, or Bogey Electromechanical Assembly, is responsible for Astrop's locomotion. It consists of a central differential gear, two sets of boogie suspensions, four drive control units and eight wheels. As the entire subsystem is made up of proven components, we have already replaced key wear parts and designed further upgrades to improve longevity while maintaining impressive locomotion performance. The key feature, however, remains the holonomic drive concept, which allows the rover to steer indefinitely without hard-end stops and to seamlessly combine rotational and translational motion using inverse kinematics. This is our robotic arm. It is a combination of hardware from our previous two rover projects and is playfully referred to as the Frankenarm. With six degrees of freedom and decoupled joints, it achieves increased mobility and reliable motion. From joint one, the arm uses a belt-driven axis, a worm gear and four cable-driven axes to reduce weight. Our approach to end effect design has also changed significantly moving away from the automatic tool changer in favor of task-specific integrated solutions. Similarly, we are working on improved software to implement inverse kinematics more efficiently and to enable easy integration of autonomous movements using the stereo vision camera mounted on the forearm. The main body is the central connection point for all subsystems. The aim is to make it strong but light. It also contains most of our electronics, computing power and batteries. 
We also introduce generic interfaces to our existing hardware to allow quick and easy replacement of peripheral components such as soil sample containers or probe caches. Also on the outside are four time of flight cameras and a stereo vision camera for autonomous localization and navigation. Other optical cameras are mounted on the antenna boom for pan tilt focus and overview, and on the ground for hazard avoidance. The navigation and vision subsystem extracts information from the various vision systems. It provides localization capabilities using the point clouds from the time of flight cameras and the stereo camera to recognize the Aruco markers. Computing is done on board on NVIDIA Jetson TX2 and Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 boards. The information is fed into a particle filter which allows localization on the Mars yard. The resulting 3D information is then overlaid on a 2D map that can be easily compared to a predefined map of the Mars yard. Additional algorithms are then used to find the most efficient path to a given point of interest. Astrobes Electronics are based on our own modular electronics standard called Pillars of Creation. This allows us to freely combine motor drivers, sensor readouts and much more depending on the application. That comes in very handy when quick replacements are needed or requirements change unexpectedly. We have also enhanced the system's capabilities by revising our battery management system to improve reliability and adding a power management module to increase safety and provide fast power reporting. That wraps up our presentation on Project Astrolope, but make sure to also follow our progress on our social media channels. So stay tuned and we hope to see as many of you as possible in Krakow.